Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It feels kind of weird that we are, in fact, in the middle of a season in Call of Duty in general right now, but we're also at the launch of the game, so it doesn't really feel like it. Obviously, season six is going on in the background of the whole Vanguard launch, right? And in fact, we're coming up on the closing part of season six. We only have until December 2nd slash December 3rd. Then we're going to see season one kick off for Vanguard and Warzone yet again. And that's obviously bringing a ton of new stuff to all titles. However, in the closing weeks of season six here, it doesn't initially seem like we have a lot going on. Like if we were to look at the roadmap, which we will, there's not a lot at all that's going to be happening. But what we do have is events and quite a few of them between content based events with stuff going on with Vanguard and Warzone and the overall lore. We have different bonus events going on, all sorts of stuff coming up here in the next few weeks. So despite the lack of overall seasonal content, we do have a lot going on. So today we're previewing the sort of end of season six here. So as we go through it all, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it, it would be seriously appreciated. And of course, if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed, feel free to do so. That way you can always guarantee you are up to date with everything going on in COD between news, updates, class setups, tips. It is all right here each and every single day. Also, if you're planning on grinding a ton of Warzone once the Vanguard integration happens, or if you're already grinding Vanguard now and you don't have some gamer advantage glasses, you are doing yourself a disservice, right? If you're looking at screens for long periods of time, these things are game changers. I wear them each and every single day whenever I'm editing, watching videos, playing games, whatever it may be. They're a go-to for me. Probably the most essential part of my setup now. If you want to get a pair for yourself, code Immortal has it covered. Link down in the description below. So real quick, before we get into the core of the video, if, uh, if we just want to look at the Season 6 roadmap for content purposes and really see what's left for Season 6, we can see the launch stuff. We already have all the multiplayer maps for Cold War, all the zombie stuff. We had the haunting event for, uh, for Warzone and Cold War. As far as the Warzone updates go here, we got all the map changes. We got the new Gulag and the World War II bunkers. We've seen Mason. We've seen Fuse. We saw all of our weapons debut between the 410 Ironhide, the Grav, the Battle Axe, the Lapa, the Hammer, and Sickle. And the bundles are occasionally dropping, but those really aren't main content. So literally everything on the Season 6 roadmap content-wise is done, which then leaves us to say, well, what is actually going to be happening at the end of Season 6? Because usually we'd have a weapon drop here and there. We'd see a new operator or a couple of new modes released, but we don't have that this time. Instead, though, like I said, we've got events on events on events. And that, my friends, is where we turn to the Trello board, because while we have this and it's great for, you know, showing us all these different issues that they're looking into and looking to update and whatnot, we also have these tabs over here. The playlist update schedule, which we also get previews of through the uh, the actual patch notes on the site, which of course we look at each and every single week and whenever there's actual update patch notes as well. But then we also have this section here, scheduled events. And this actually goes over quite a few different things and really gives us a nice preview, some other previews that we wouldn't really have had elsewhere uh, for specifically the end of season six right now. And in the future, it'll help out with season one and season two and so on as we get into all of that stuff. But right away, of course, there's some stuff on here that's not nearly as important, like the whole Twitch Rivals World Series of Warzone stuff. That's an event going on, but it's not necessarily the event style that we're looking for here when it comes to content. So first up, we've got a mode actually coming up, a new event coming up in just a couple of days. On November 18th, we're going to see Operation flashback now on the actual trello board here we can go ahead and we can look at the whole banner for it, which is like the first time we've actually been able to see the logo for it but the trello doesn't give us any information instead though what we have is the previously leaked information and some of the details they gave us about this essentially what this mode is is that flashback that look back at verdansk 84 and og verdansk going through some of the previous events that we've seen in, in history whether that's the halloween events the 80s action heroes events all sorts of stuff like that all the events that we've seen on Warzone previously are going to be sort of relived in this mode, essentially going off the leaks and the rumors that we have so far. And that's the first major event and big piece of content we've got coming up to wrap up the season. But this is only really like part one of the major events that we have coming up, which we've discussed previously. But that's the first big part of the end of season six is Operation Flashback here, which is an LTM event starting on the 18th. And of course, when that happens, we're going to be covering it. Now, after that, we also see that there's going to be a Battle Pass tier sale coming up to end the uh, end of the season here. This is going on from the 19th to the 22nd at 10 a.m pacific time 11 o'clock for me so we're gonna have a whole battle pass tier sale an event not a huge one but we do see these towards the end of every single season as well and it's nice being able to preview hey it's happening exactly then because usually when we do these whole overviews for the end of any given season i usually talk about hey 
we're going to have these XP events and Battle Pass events. It should happen around this time, but we don't really know until they announce it, which is usually only a couple of days before, now that they have direct dates. We also know for sure we're going to see a double weapon XP and a double XP event from the 24th all the way to the 29th, so sort of an extended double-double event. Uh, they don't specifically say whether this will be live in just Warzone or Warzone and ideally Vanguard, so we can work on some weapon levels there and whatnot. I would imagine it's going to work in both, but we are going to have to sort of wait and see for that, but we do have a listed date for this. Again, we're going to have a double-double event with double weapon XP and double XP starting on the 24th and going through the 29th. We also have another major event, limited time event, Secrets of the Pacific. And again, this is the first time we get an overview and general look of what the Secrets of the Pacific is going to look like. We have the whole overview and icon for it there. Again, though, this doesn't give us an exact detail, but we do have some previous leaks and rumors to go off yet again that we've talked about a little bit before on the channel. Essentially, this is going to be what gives us the teases of the actual, like, you know, detailed stuff about Caldera. Now, we've seen some general overview of the Caldera map already. We've seen some screenshots and a little bit of info here and there, but we don't have exact details. And supposedly, that's what this event is going to give us, potentially even the whole Pacific trailer as well. So we might see the Caldera uh, trailer and major reveal happen with this, according to what we've learned about it so far based off of leaks and rumors. But we know that's coming up on the 24th through the 1st. So that's going to be part two of the major end of season events for season six. Then we continue scrolling down. We get the last hours of Verdansk event. This is going to be like the cap off to season six. This is the real end of season six. And this is taking place from the 30th to the 1st. And this is going to see the true end of Verdansk 84 as we know it. Because we know Verdansk is not coming back, at least while the Caldera is live. This is going to remove Verdansk from the game entirely. This will be our last chance to play Verdansk, hence the last hours of Verdansk title for the overall event here. And this is the finale to it. This will be the real peak and end of Season 6 as we know it. And then that leads us to the Pacific Early Access update, which starts on the 2nd. If you didn't know, if you actually have uh, Vanguard and you own the game, you'll get 24 hours early access to the Pacific map here. You'll be able to play it on December 2nd, and then the whole map will go live for the entire world on December 3rd. So we get a nice general overview of everything going on here in the next couple of weeks between Operation Flashback, a couple of Battle Pass events and XP events, and then also the end of, uh, of Season 6 in general, the end of Verdansk with the Secrets of the Pacific and the Caldera reveal in the last hours of Verdansk event as well. So general overview of the time frame and what you can expect a little bit from those events. All right, so uh, post-edit Zach here. Hey, hi, how you doing once again? As I'm going through and editing this, I just also want to make this quick note. Uh, keep in mind, everything we just talked about is strictly the event updates. This is not all the content we're going to have for the end of Season 6. We're still going to see the weekly playlist updates each and every week, and we should also see Maybe some weapon tuning here and there and like some of the general updates we usually get. This is not exclusively everything we're going to see uh, as the season closes out. We should see more official information on all of this here pretty soon. So as that surfaces, we will be covering it here on the channel. Stick it here for that. Make sure you are subscribed with your notifications turned on. But that's going to do it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. And, uh, and again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.